At the launch of the program, we have a knowledge of three neurons that's automatically loaded, and these neurons have actually been taught using that particular track. If I hit the Run button, the neurons are going to control the steering angle of the car based on what is seen through the windshield and which is represented in this upper left window right here. Now let me stop it and to show you how these neurons were actually created I'm going to forget the current knowledge so we can see the number of neurons is actually zero and we're going to start from scratch. So if I hit run the car stops immediately. No neuron uh, responds because the knowledge is empty. So at that point, I'm going to teach uh, that in that particular situation, uh, the car should go straight. So I'll just hit the enter key and it commits one neuron. The action that took place here is that the pattern seen through the windshield is associated to the action keep going straight. And now if I hit the run button using that single neuron, we can see that the car can go a little further on the road. Now it stopped because the pattern which is displayed here is too different from the one stored in the single neuron we have uh, currently in the, in the knowledge. So I can, using the left arrow key, I'm going to tell the neuron in that particular case, when you see that pattern, then turn a little bit to the left and I'll press enter. This actually commits the second neuron, and if I hit it run, the car should be able to go a little further. Okay, new pattern again. This time I'm going to use the right arrow key and teach the car in that particular case. I don't want it to go outside of the road, so we're going to uh, steer to the, to the right, press enter. A third neuron got committed, and I'll hit run. So it's managing that pretty steep turn, and then this one, and I think we should, we should be fine. So I'll increase a little bit the speed, and that's it. So with three neurons, we're able to control the trajectory of that car on that simple track. Let me stop and show you the content of the knowledge. So in this window, it shows the content of the three different neurons we have committed. You can see number three here. We're looking at the third neuron that was created. In this little image, we have a picture of what is seen through the windshield. The plot here actually is just a representation, one-dimensional representation of the image uh, into a vector of 256 components. And this is this actual data that is stored in the memory of the neurons. And the, um, the other information of importance here is the category. It's a code that specifies that the, is converting to the steering angle. So we can see that we have the different pattern, the three pattern that were taught earlier. Now let's see how the car will adapt if I use a different code. So I'm going to clear the, the background, keep the same knowledge of this three neuron we just reviewed, and draw draw a new track that has nothing to do like something like that. Now I'm going to hit run, which means that with the exact same knowledge we're going to see how the car performs on that particular track. And if at one point the neurons do not recognize a new situation then the, the car will stop, if not it will continue. There we go. We can increase a little bit the complexity by using a different background, like a real image. So I'm going to load one that I have in store here, along with a predefined knowledge for this particular track. Okay. In this case, we have nine neurons, and I'm going to hit the run button. and see how the car behaves. I'll wait until it turns it does the full loop and stop. Now let's take a look at the knowledge. It's a, a little more rich since the pattern this time seen through the windshield is actually a gray level image where we can see tire marks and more details along the edge of the road. 
So as a result, the vectors have more variation that we can observe also in the plot. And we have nine neurons. There were more variations to be taught so that the, the car stays on the track.